November, we, uh, we really don't know what to expect, and that's another one that, that uh, um, I say I've seen some great progression in practice. I've seen us shooting the ball better. I've seen us defensively getting a better understanding for some things, and uh, we were really uh, fortunate to, to, except for the first five minutes, really put a complete game together. Um, they made those threes in the second half and got very um, iffy for a minute, up 11 with five minutes to go is not a safe lead today. And Charles making that three in the corner, he's worked so hard on his three-point game. He made two of them today. Um, you know, that whole starting five is, uh, I think one of the announcers told me today, they appear like they're connected. They are getting more and more connected daily. They're still not seeing each other the way they will as we go forward, but they are doing a really good job of finding each other, and that's a big difference. And defensively, then, they're really connected. They, uh, they talk really well. We did a great job on a lot of the action that is so hard to guard. I think once we got used to their speed after the first, we couldn't simulate in practice with our scout team how fast uh, White was going to get down the floor, how, how fast they were going to run <coughs> their big guys. And um, they got us early, uh, but then we, we adjusted and we were fine. Jacob, you want to start Yeah. John, uh, Luke May obviously had a big game last year against mm -hmm. you guys. What do you think? What's the biggest difference um, in the match tonight? What uh, and I mean, just a compliment to Isaiah and Duncan Robinson last year. Uh, let's put it on me. Our four-man defense last year, we, we were not as good at We probably didn't emphasize it enough and what we had to do with him. And we've been emphasizing, realizing that a, a guy like, like Luke is really tough to guard because he, he shoots, he can post, he can play with his back to the basket, and he can really pass. And um, we, were, we were going in that game, we were very conscious of other elements of their game, and, and Luke just killed us. And we, were, we, we, were, we practiced a lot. We didn't talk a lot this week about their other good players, even though they're talented. We talked about Luke May for two straight days because he really put it on us last year. Stay here with Chris. I think with like seven minutes to go, you had contested 90% of their shots, I think was the stat. You're keeping that stat? That was ESPN. Who's keeping that stat? I think that was ESPN. ESPN. I it was Dan Murphy. So, yeah, but yeah, we keep that stat. I think we were 92 at halftime. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just you have to understand the patterns they're doing, and you have to understand the switching or non-switching they're doing to get that done. But the effort area is Luke Yakut says we're going to contest shots with every fiber of our being. He actually says that, <laughs> and we do, we do. And then talk about the hustle play by Teske yeah, right was, there for the half. A big part. I mean, we needed something going into halftime there uh, that would have that, just to get us going, and because we we did play, we did get up, and then all of a sudden, you know, they made a little bit of a run, and they could have scored at that last one. Teske getting a seven foot one guys don't go and get that ball like that. So he didn't shoot the ball well. He didn't shoot fouls well. He's such a huge presence for us defensively and just, you know, how he carries himself on the court. On your right one, Zach. John, you mentioned getting used to the team's speed, but be down 10 and then go on a 17-2 run. I guess what else, or what sort of things did you see from the team before that started, and what does it say that they Well, we, we, that? you know, what when we weren't, when they got ahead of us, we missed some layups, uh, we missed some foul shots, we left some one-on-ones empty, and then we just started making shots, and we found each other, right? I think that, you know, that tempo that they were playing at, um, you know, can go the other way for you. If you just get stops and you're going up the court and you get into a track meet, we're pretty good in offensive transition. We found some guys. So, but we made shots. We made shots, and I've been watching the practice happen. Never enough, right? I want everybody to never miss in practice ever when they're open, but uh, today we were really good at that. Over here on your left, Doug. Coach, you've already said that you can get better, and your teams tend to get better as the season goes on, but as well as you're playing, Right now, how much better can you play them? Oh, I, 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 uh, I hope we'll get a whole lot better. I mean, they're, they're, I, I'm, everything's so relative for me because I, I coach the team and I just look at when you're a coach, you see your, you see your weaknesses much more than you see your strengths sometimes, and that's a weakness of mine as well. Uh, but we have, we have a lot of room to grow. We need that bench to develop. We need to get the freshmen better, and we need, we need Teske to, to do something offensively for us too. I mean that 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 would be huge. I think that Jordan Poole and guys like that they're gonna they're gonna ten assists and one turnover is really good. But I thought there were some other opportunities they could have seen open guys too. So it's a breakdown and inch by inch you get one percent better every day. Who knows what can happen? On the right with Andrew, kind of going off that. Other than in Spain and the ten extra practices, why do you think this team is playing you know, at a higher level earlier? 
I, I think it's, it has a lot to do with our leadership right now with Charles and Xavier and John Teske. These guys have won a lot of games in their first two years. And they, they've been good in postseason. They've, they've won a lot of games. And they practice with a purpose every day. They really are leaders. They hold – Iggy's got such great role models looking at him right now. Isaiah Livers is the same way. They are they're saying this is what we do in Michigan. This is – and we're going to win if we just do these things. They, they are, we're spirited in our workouts. But Xavier and Charles in particular – they are really showing great leadership as far as effort areas in practice. I have to dial them back in practice. On your left with Bojo. John, uh, uh, Roy Williams said this was the most frustrated he's been in 31 years of his coaching, going up against your defense and in general with his team. Is that obviously what you guys want to do, try to do, hope to do? Yeah, I, that, I, that's one of the biggest compliments I've ever had, right, <laughs> that he would ever say that or our teams have ever had. Um, yeah, I mean, that's what – it's not like we're trying to frustrate you. We're trying to keep people from score baskets. And they run some great stuff. And they, they got young players in there playing now, too. And we don't, we're not, we're young, but we don't have freshmen out there too much. Just one, just one really good one. So um, that's quite a compliment because I think they're, they're, they traditionally have, have one of the best offenses anywhere. And uh, we were able to do that. I think, I think going back to the beginning when we had to get ready to play Holy Cross which is, it's calculus, it's really, our kids were so focused that they realized that what Luke's talking about, what we're talking about as a team really works if you put in the effort and the, and the film study on it. Stay there with Sean. John, I know some years you've had teams that have taken a while to find their swagger, yeah. what you like to use sometimes. Have you ever had a team that has shown this much this early? And that way, You're talking about like this yeah, and all these things 